everybody welcome back to salesforce with megan today we are going to be talking about five ways to maximize your linkedin profile this is going to complement my most recent video and if you haven't watched it yet the link is up here and that is how to create a salesforce banner through canva so if you haven't watched that video make sure to check it out it does help you create a banner specifically through canva and in regards to creating a banner, that is actually one of the tips that I'm going to start and lead in with in regards to the five tips to maximize your LinkedIn profile. Okay, y'all, so here we have my LinkedIn profile. We are going to be talking about the visuals as soon as you come into your LinkedIn page. And that is going to be your profile picture and your LinkedIn header band. Now, again, to complement last week's video on how to create a LinkedIn banner, via canva you do have options as you can see right here i designed mine to be able to showcase to you if you were looking at the profile what exactly i do five times certified content creator and then it's telling you an action to go subscribe for more content similar to what you've probably seen through linkedin or at least know that i'm talking about specific salesforce content now you can design your banner any way that you would want i've seen some super creative designs whether that be military folks that come on, you have people that love flows and they design their path, perhaps with like a flow perspective. And then you also do have people who just list their certifications to be able to give a quick reference to either recruiters, um, people like you and myself, or employers that are possibly looking at your profile. So make sure when you're creating your banner, it showcases who you are, what you're doing, and possibly how somebody can reach you. Next, let's talk about profile pictures because this is so incredibly important. Now, when you design your LinkedIn profile, it should not be blank. Don't have no image in there. Also, do not have an image with somebody else in there. Do not have an image where you're out and about and you have a drink in your hand. So just make sure that you have an image that shows here up and you're smiling. And it just needs to be simply a view. You can also make sure the background is clear and i'll make sure to leave a link in the description and with a tool that you can use to just clear the background if you like the picture of yourself but again you want to make sure that this picture does look professional and then really why am i telling you this it's because again recruiters employers people like yourself or myself looking at your profile i want to be able to show that you are taking yourself seriously so again the first tip that we have here is your linkedin banner and also having a professional linkedin photo so make sure to update those if you haven't already okay so number two let's go ahead and talk about your header and that is going to be this section right here which we just highlighted it is going to be searchable if you are looking for a job or if you are just being searched in general online on LinkedIn, these words right here serve as keywords. And you want to make sure that whatever is in this profile right, right here, that people understand again, what you're doing, who you are and perhaps what your title is. Now a, very, now, a very important tip is if you're navigating from a different career in the Salesforce, make sure that that previous career, if you were a lawyer, that title should not be there any longer. I understand that you're probably proud of it and I understand why, but at the end of the day, you are transferring from one industry to another industry. So your profile really needs to shine that and show that. Now, if you are advancing or perhaps already in Salesforce and looking for another job, what you can do if you haven't already is just tailor it a little bit. You wanna make sure that it showcases that you're a Salesforce developer, admin, architect, that you perhaps run a group or you're a part of a group, you're a veteran, you're a military spouse, whatever the case may be, showcase these credentials in the headline. So make sure whatever words you're using here serve as keywords to your viewers that are potentially coming on your LinkedIn profile. You don't want to have a previous job. You don't want to list anything that is going to be irrelevant for your Salesforce career. So definitely make sure to clean that up make it presentable and make sure that those keywords are in there for future people to check out your profile. 
All right, so let's navigate down to your about me section. So this is going to be important. It also contains keywords. So you want to make sure that whatever you're talking about here is going to be searchable. Again, if you are in the Salesforce industry, tech industry, you're listing any quick references to perhaps coding experience that you have, Java, Python, languages as that. And then if you're a Salesforce administrator, if you're more focused on the marketing side, make sure that those keywords are entered into it there as well. I would suggest hopping over to Salesforce slash Trollhead and checking out the roles that you're in and finding those keywords it does help provide you with information to be able to put into your about me section here. So as you can see, I have Salesforce associate consultant. I love data visualization and design. I am a content creator and I'm in my Salesforce journey helping others. That means I'm also training. So keywords, you're going to see Salesforce a lot. You're going to see content creator and you're going to see data. So those are quick references for people that are scouting my profile to be able to say, oh, okay, well, she does A, B, C, and D. So make sure you clean that up. I do not recommend a paragraph. Um, again, people are going to be giving us a quick look over and you want to make sure that it's not that long right this long <laughs> um, you want to make sure that's just enough of information to be able to find out more about you and to want to continue to get to know you so for all watching definitely make sure that you clean that up about me section and you'll be good to go all right so let's keep going down to the experience section and for those that are pivoting into Salesforce, we're going to talk to you for a minute, is that the further away that you are from your current experience, you want to make sure that you have one to two bullet points, three at max, because again, the further you are away from the position that you want to get into, to the industry that you're looking to get into, you want to make sure that you're showcasing just enough information to show that you were employed how you developed into your Salesforce career and what really pivoted you that way. You can, and I do suggest this to everybody that I talk to when we have LinkedIn reviews, it's to make sure that those previous positions, if possible, are tailored into Salesforce keywords or at least things that you've seen. So I created dashboards, I created reports, I trained users, I kept an eye on the KPI levels that are coming in, I was a service representative, whatever it may be, you can definitely always tailor it, give it some thought, talk about it with people, and then don't feel like this is always going to remain the same for your professional history. It's going to change. You're gonna think of things all the time. So make sure that you can always just hop back and edit it. Now, for those that are in the Salesforce industry already and just looking to grow, make sure that you do have your professional career listed in bullet points. It's always a quick way to be able to see boom, 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 you've done this. And again, piggybacking off of the previous comment to those coming into the industry, make sure that all those sentences and keywords are very Salesforce related if you do decide to continue going down the Salesforce path. All right, so we made it to number five, but before we get into that, make sure you do stay to the end because I am giving you one extra tip in case you wanna bring up your LinkedIn to the next level. And just to hop into number five, that is going to be your featured section. What is that? I didn't know about it either, that's okay. What this is, it showcases previous articles and posts that you've already posted. And it gives you an opportunity to showcase yourself again in the most fun way, and that is visually. What I really love about the feature section is that you can move it up and down just by clicking this, and it will allow you to drag and drop. So just in case I created something new and I still wanted to leave the create a Salesforce banner. And by the way, you guys should check that video out. Link is right here. Link is down there. It's everywhere. So just make sure to know that you can move this up and down just in case there was a post that you wanted to showcase more than the other. And if you wanted to add something, you could just do it by here, add post, newsletter, article, add a link or add media. And if you don't have anything Salesforce related, that's totally fine. I've spoken to a lot of people that just add previous career achievements that they have perhaps, or certifications that they've gotten outside of Salesforce, only if it is relevant to where you want to go. Specifically for military folks, 
if you have gotten any achievements and you've been recognized for them, definitely go ahead and add that in. For non-military folks watching this video, if you have data-specific certification, Excel certifications, those are great to add in. Now, once you have advanced more into the Salesforce industry, you can start changing these featured posts because you're going to be advancing more. You're going to be completing more things, doing more projects, getting more hands-on work. So definitely make sure you update this featured section as you go. So there you have it, a really fun way to be able to showcase your achievements or your projects and the work that you've done in a very fun visual way. So definitely make sure that you do add to the featured section. So we've made it to the bonus section and we're going to talk about three ways in which you can produce more content on LinkedIn. Now, specifically for Salesforce professionals, if you're wanting to post more and get more engaged on this platform, which I do highly suggest, and that is going to be just talking about your updates and what's going on in your Salesforce journey. How are you learning? What tool did you find to be most effective for you? It might help others. You can also talk about well, perhaps you didn't pass your certification this time. And what are you gonna do to do it next time? You can also talk about new things that you learned along the way. It doesn't have to be Salesforce related. I absolutely love hearing about productivity tips. And I know that is a crowd favorite. So if you are looking to post more on LinkedIn and get more engaged and meet other people and join communities, putting yourself out there is step number one. So I really do hope that this five tip to maximizing your LinkedIn has helped you. If you have any questions specifically on how to grow on LinkedIn, have you done something right based on this ideas and feedbacks that I've given you, go ahead and put it in the description. Let me know if you also do like this type of content. Again, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It does help me know that you enjoy this type of content. So good luck on creating and updating your LinkedIn. Looking forward to seeing those changes. Bye everyone.